Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Bearded Dev. In this video I'm going to be doing an Excel tutorial and we're going to be having a look at how we can create our first macro. If you're interested in videos on data analysis, business intelligence or SQL programming then do subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos, there's lots of great content on there and if you do enjoy the video hit that thumbs up button as well. We're now in Excel don't worry if yours looks slightly different to mine, if the headings are in a different place. I'm actually using Excel 2016 at the moment, so you might be using a different version. But anyway, on to macros. So most importantly about macros, they save time. If there's any task that we have to repeat in Excel, then we could program a macro to do that for us. Macros record the steps we take uh, and then we can execute that macro and it will execute those same steps again. So let's go ahead and create our first macro. Now macros sit under the view tab. So if I click on view over here, I've got my little macro section. Like I say, it might be slightly different on yours, depending on the version of Excel you are working with. So if I go ahead and click the little drop down, I can simply click on record macro. That brings up uh, a little screen and we can give this, this macro uh, a name. Uh, now I'm going to be doing just a, a simple task. So I'm going to call this monthly sales. Again, you can call your macro something relevant to what you're creating. And it's always good to add a description. So generate monthly sales okay now we've also got another option for adding a shortcut key so just like we would do with copy and paste we've got control C and control uh, V um, so we've got a we can we can set a keyboard shortcut and once we've recorded our macro we can press that keyboard shortcut and our macro would be executed for us there's actually a number of ways um, that we can execute a macro but we won't go into that for the time being we'll just leave that that blank and then we've got different options of, of where we can store our macro as well so we'll go ahead and click on OK and as soon as we click on OK it's going to start recording the steps that we're taking so I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK I'm going to type into cell A1 monthly sales um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some formatting to that. So I'm going to set it bold, underlined, and I'm going to set a text size of 16, which nicely changes the cell size for me. And then simply I'm going to add the names of the month. So I'm going to use uh, fill to get that to do it for me another very good feature in Excel so that's going to go ahead and do that for me uh, I'm then going to go back onto view I've now carried out the steps that I wanted to take don't worry about um, how long it takes you to carry out the steps because the macro will execute it a lot faster than you actually carry out the work so you can see I'm sort of talking here and the macro is still waiting for me to take action um, but it's not going to take into consideration a pause so I could literally go away for 10 minutes and come back once I click on something that's when it would record the action at the moment I'm not doing anything so there's no need to record anything so I'm then going to back onto my view tab and I'm going to simply go to stop recording now there's nothing there to say that that macro has been recorded but I can assure you it has so if I go into macros now and we now click on view macros, I can see that that macro is actually there for us. Now we've also got a few options here. Um, we can run the macro, step into the macro, we can edit the macro, delete. Uh, there's further options here. Again, we can set a shortcut uh, or we can just sit, simply click cancel to do that. So I'm just going to click cancel for now. Uh, and I'm just going to remove what I've got in my sheet. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and run the macro. So I can go back onto view macros. I know my macro name. It's probably likely um, normally when I'm working with macros, I've got quite a few on here doing various bits and pieces. So if I go ahead and run that now, we can see very fast. That was very fast at executing. Quite a simple task, um, but even for quite complex tasks, it will execute it very fast for you. Uh, we also can edit macros. So as we're carrying out steps in Excel, um, Excel is actually recording what we're doing and then outputting that uh, in VBA code, which is Visual Basic for applications. And what we can do is we can go ahead and have a look at that. So if I click on edit, that's going to open up the details of our, of our macro. Um, so we can see our, our macro name here. We've got a description for it as well. They're just set as comments. Uh, and this is what it's doing for us. So we select a one, uh, we set it to bold, we set it to underline, uh, We'd set some font details, so we change the size to 16. Um, we then go uh, and select range A3. We enter January, we enter February in A4, uh, and then we use autofill to copy that down. So as you can see, that's recorded all of the steps for me in here. Now what we can actually do as well is we could actually edit the code in here. So once we've recorded our macro, we have the option to come here. We can edit the code, save that code, go back and run our macro and that will execute as we've made our changes. Visual Basic for application, quite easy to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration. So we can see here just our selection of cell A1, which is where we inserted monthly sales. Now, if we go ahead and just change that to A2, uh, 